Hey guys, Rob here with McDojo Life. Today we're going to cover part two of the house that Mike built. If you missed part one, it's in the description below. Let's check it out. So if you paid attention to part one, Mike had written a letter to some of his students claiming to use the JJGF Federation as a way to legitimize his black belts and to hold that over his students' heads. So here's what they had to say about that. I wrote them. To whom it may concern, I was recently made aware of a studio that is claiming to be a part of your organization. I had heard some pretty bad things about them and was curious if CJA is affiliated with you. They wrote back. Okay, McDojo Life, thank you for reaching out. We suspended their membership as soon as we received messages regarding their practices. If you check out the map, they are no longer a certified academy. We're investigating how their affiliation and certificate were accepted and issued, and we will let you know our findings and judgment. So I wrote back, might I ask what your reasonings were for suspending them? We received an email written by the head coach that we thought was very odd and complaints about their practices regarding belt ranking. I asked, curious as to what was odd about the email that the head instructor sent. They said, some internal issues between the head coach and his academy black belts. Treason accusation, just very odd. Now Mike was very proud in several emails of the fact that he was open, honest, and transparent with his students. He said so several times through multiple correspondence between myself also with the JJGF. The funny thing about transparency, though, is he's not very transparent on the website. On the website, not a one time doesn't mention that he started his own martial art, which he admits in, so in the email correspondence. Not a one time does it say that he doesn't have a lineage through jiu-jitsu, and not a one time does it say that he is not a certified black belt in jiu-jitsu. That's kind of a lie by omission, don't you think? Now let's continue down this whole truthful, honest, transparent thing. If we look at the website, it says his affiliates. All of them are located on the homepage. It says he's affiliated with SAGA, uh, South African Jiu-Jitsu Council, the ISKA, NAGA, and BJJ Globetrotters. Well, let's, let's go down a few of those. First off, let's start with BJJ Globetrotters. Anybody can be affiliated with them at all. They don't check about you. They don't look into you. Anybody could sign up. You right now could sign up and be affiliated with the BJJ Globetrotters, regardless of your affiliation or absolutely anything about you. So to be affiliated with that isn't really that hard, and it doesn't really have any requirements. Also, side note, BJJ Globetrotters is fucking awesome. You definitely got to check them out. Let's move on to SAGA and NAGA. These two things are gonna go together. Let's check out to see what NAGA had to say about them. I said, hey, hope everything is going well with you. I was recently made aware of an association in South Africa called CJA that is claiming that they represent NAGA. A lot of red flags have come up about them and I was curious if this was all true. I also added this photo of a SAGA medal that said that they were affiliated and associated with NAGA. I also asked, is the SAGA affiliated with NAGA or did they make that up? They wrote back and said, they are absolutely not associated with us. So on your website, you claim that you're affiliated with the SAGA and NAGA. First of all, you're not fucking affiliated with NAGA because they clearly just said that you're not. So that's a fucking lie. You might want to take that shit off your website. Two, you say you're associated with the SAGA. That's clearly true, but guess what? You're associated with an organization that's fucking lying about being associated with another organization. That doesn't make you look good either. But one of the questions I asked Mike during our email correspondence, I said, I am under the understanding that you are part of an organization, which at the time he was, which was the JJGF until they removed him. I said, how long have you been with that organization and what lineage did your academy fall under before? And he said, I have no lineage, I am the founder. So I asked Mike, mostly because he had clearly stated repeatedly that he was not graded or ranked in jiu-jitsu. Uh, I said, because you currently hold no rank, how are you able to promote students? And his answer was, I am a founder. How does anybody start? Again, please understand this is not arrogance, simply a decision I made. My students recognize the grades they get, my organization recognizes it. Other people don't. Shrug. That is life, I guess. So if you take a look around CJA's website, or if you take a look around their Facebook page or their Instagram, one thing that you'll notice that kind of sticks out like a sore thumb is Mike wears a rope belt, not a traditional belt. So I asked him about that. I said, what is the significance of the rope belt? He said, there is no great significance at all. Very simply, it is white. Signifies I hold no rank. It is a sign of respect to all those wonderful lineage people that I respect and to let them know I am nothing in comparison to their proud lineage. Why a rope, LOL? I work predominantly with children and wear a white belt the same as them would confuse them. So I choose a rope, nothing else special about it. Let's start wrapping up with some closing thoughts here. Mike wrote me in one of our correspondence. He said, my school has a concept called the CJA way, which is summed up as follows. One, do not hurt anybody. Two, look and listen. 
three, do your best, four, be honest, and five, have fun. Well, we can go ahead and tick off number four off that high horse right off the bat. Not only are you lying by omission on your website by not clearly stating that you are the founder of the martial art that you were teaching, hiding behind the guise of saying that it's jujitsu when it is not jujitsu that you are teaching because there is no lineage certifying you through anyone accredited through jujitsu, but also you're lying by saying you're affiliated with organizations that you're not affiliated whatsoever. Naga clearly says that you're not affiliated with them and yet even after me stating that in the first video, you still have them up today continuing to perpetuate a lot. Rule number one, don't hurt anybody. You mean kind of like the students that you hurt and you didn't seem to show any remorse about? Have fun. Well, you're clearly doing that. You're clearly having a blast right now, pulling the wool over students' eyes, lying by omission, and saying you're affiliated with people that you're not. Do your best and look and listen. Well, let's put these two together. Doing your best right now would be looking and listening at this video, paying attention to what's being said, looking and listening at what your students had to say, and then following through to do a better job about being more clear and transparent with your students that you are clearly not doing according to your website. You're not affiliated with Naga. You might as well take that shit off your website now. And you started your own martial arts style, but yet you're so proud of that through these private email discourses. But on your website, you're not proud of it at all. And not a one time do you even state so. Do better. You have this phrase you like to use, don't tell me, show me. Well, how about you don't tell me shit in another email correspondence? How about you show me that you're willing to take the time to listen to open discourse and go through and maybe make some adjustments to your website to show clearly that you're not pulling the wool over your students' eyes. As always, I look forward to reading your comments in the comment section below about what you think about this entire situation. Thank you all for the likes, comments, shares, subscriptions, and all that other crap people on YouTube tell you to do. Keep the martial arts legit.